Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to film my intro while I was at the park today, but that's right. I was at the park today. Um, the park's not even open yet. What was I doing there? I was taking a construction tour of Camp Snoopy, brand new for 2024. Unfortunately, Camp Snoopy will not be opening with the park this weekend, but um, it'll still be cool. It was still really cool to see the area before all the walls go up and... I believe Chad said some of the rides will be open this weekend. Um, don't quote me on that. I think it's in the video. Speaking of video, let's get into the blog. The vlog, not a blog. You were not reading this. You might be reading this. I don't know. I don't usually... Let's just get into it. stops watching stuff. So here, look at how cute these trains are. 
Like, each and every one of them is themed to a different peanut, and I just love the, that attention to detail. You can touch the column if you'd like, and you have to train in the background. And they asked, is it going to be open for that? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. Uh, but, you know, our hope is to get it open as soon as we can. So if you couldn't hear when Chad was saying, the wheels are like derby wheels. I didn't notice this in the like art and what we've seen before. Really cute. new peanuts at our park and um, our corporate experience design services department has a relationships uh, relationship with peanuts and they work with them hand in hand on every capital edition across Cedar Fair um, each season to make sure they're all meeting the requirements that peanut has uh, for their brand and uh, gets approval on them so then by the time it gets here we're able to take pictures and share them because it's already been pre-approved at that time um, by that time to share with our guests and of course you know once the guests start arriving they'll they'll share whatever That, I love that sign. That is such a cute sign. some of the pavement has been cut up and we are pouring new. Um, this is really going to be the entrance to Camp Snoopy from the Rivertown area. When you go to the left, you'll be entering Camp Snoopy. When you go to the right, you'll go into Planet Snoopy. The ID sign for the area will be located right here. And you'll see some concrete staining and things like that that will help distinguish this area as Camp Snoopy. This part of Camp Snoopy and it has been uh, completely repainted and is ready to go for the 2024 season. I like the grass elements on the center structure. That adds to the peanuts feel for sure. This is going to be so happy. Uh, here's the first sign. Camp Snoopy Soapbox Derby the race. That looks really good. It looks so cute. I love that sign. Yeah. Flying Ace looks so good too. Goodbye, these signs. like these new, like, the new scooter colors. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Both have on-ride photos now? And they'll just both be the same booth. Oh, in merch. 
in merch. Yeah. They'll both be here. Yeah, and this is cool Ooh. because I think this is one of the, the only one in the world to have a photo on this model. This model. That's so cool. When I was younger, my grandma would just wanted to be like, if you got a new place, this is the only one. It's going to be basically right as we're coming towards us here on this section. Yep, so like right after the first drop. No, it's pretty close to pretty close to the brake run, right before we come around to the brake run. Yep. Uh, you didn't hear Jolie said it's pretty close to the, the brake run, uh, is where the photo will be. Alright. As we go through this next part, we'll... I read Wildcat and I said never again. And my dad goes, you need to know how to write it right now. You're good. I was a Sky Race too. Yeah. So this is the accessible one? Charlie Brown. Cool. You can't see it. You know, the thing I wanted to point out is our construction team has done an amazing job at putting this whole area together. It's quite an aggressive project to get this scope of project done in the short amount of time that we have. Elizabeth! Hi! Sorry, you go ahead. Living for the fans in the station. Yeah, one of the things I like about the exit side here is how close you are to the track. Basically, like tracks, deck, uh, are right immediately surrounding the track. That platform will lower when the ride is in operation. So it'll drop down. That's because of the high speed. We love, we love a good little snack. Bird has already made its home in here. So close to under the track here. It's a really good idea. I'll send you the photo later, buddy. Nobody but me will ever care about the control room. Control room. It's so nice in here. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take a video. Watchtower, Right. That's very cool. Yeah. Yep. So, um, one other. Okay, Happy perfect. to see some Franklin love in the park. Sorry, that representation, oh so important. We gotta have fast lane pass. No, you can take. I would be asking too much. Is to hang out with their family and Planet Snoopy and that shaded pavilion area uh, where the, the parents can sit down and take a break, but let their kids um, play on the playground. We'll have tunnels and slides and. You know, it'll all be like AstroTurf as yeah. well. Um, so it, that's going to be nice for them to be able to just, you know, wear themselves out <laughs> and let the family refresh. Uh, so um, we're definitely excited about that. Um, questions. Uh, what was the height for the uh, Snoopbox Racer? Do you know the type of going to be at the new restaurant? Yeah, Big Pits Mess Hall um, will have a lot of what I, I like to call kid-friendly menu 
items um, with some surprises in there as well. Something I'm excited about is a dessert called Hobo Pie. And you'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks as uh, we share information about that. But um, it's basically like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich um, that has uh, cornflakes on the outside it's and it's fried and it has uh, chocolate strawberry drizzle yeah, there's drizzle, powdered yeah. sugar, powdered sugar. Yeah. oh my gosh okay, it's going to be a new that. favorite for anyone who tastes it anything on, on the meal plan um, I, I haven't mean, seen the final menu, I, the final menu sure. there, but I think they I think they will have something I'll make sure so. get the information out. Chad will there be a surprise sampling of that today <laughs> <laughs> I wish <laughs> yeah. is that an indoor uh, pig pens mess hall. It will have picnic table seating on both sides of the building. All right, it's like a window service. It's yeah, yeah, counter right service. Window. Counter service. Like uh, oh, and uh, the height maximum is 80 inches, and the height minimum, I believe, is 30, 38, 38 inches. Check, double check us on that, but I believe it's 38 inches. Fun to see it over, you know, from weekend to weekend as you're visiting yes. the park, you're going to see um, updates and improvements and, and us being further along in our progress every single weekend. Uh, we will share those in between on social media uh, as we have updates. If you're not watching social media, we love Aubrey, our kid reporter who is sharing updates every single week. Um, she has a unique kid's perspective on things and we just enjoy getting to know her um, and uh, sharing updates that way. As well. Thank you. Did Thank I miss you. anything, Elizabeth? No. Are you guys ready for the season? Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, thanks for coming out on the Beast's 45th birthday officially. Happy birthday, Beast! Yeah. If you, if you, yeah. Uh, yeah. 45 years. His reign of terror has now stretched into the latter half of his 40s. So uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard on opening day, uh, we are having a trading card yes. um, giveaway. And um, on our four coasters that are celebrating anniversaries this year, which are Invertigo, Banshee, Diamondback, and The Beast, um, they will each have separate sets that we're giving away. A lot of common cards between them, but each one will have unique cards um, as well. So. Um, the first 750 riders of each of those coasters will receive a, a giveaway. Oh, that's cool. And um, I think they're going to be in hot demand. I've seen a preview of all the cards. And uh, I think it's something that, especially if you're a coaster fan, you're going to enjoy. Uh, but also in there, we share some key moments in Kings Island history that are also celebrating anniversaries this year. And uh, just uh, some, even a couple of nods to retired rides as well. If you want to hear more about our takeaways and um, just more about the experience in general, we will be talking about this on this week's episode of Quad Down. And if you're from the podcast, coming over here to actually see pictures and videos, welcome to Flight of Taylor. Thank you all for hanging out with me today, and I will catch you later.